Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys about a little feature that I think is really underutilized and is hugely helpful on Google Classroom. Um, most of you know that when you go to a class, you can go to your classwork and when you click on it, sorry, those are ones scheduled to be done. When you click on it, you can see exactly who's turned it in assigned. And if you're like me, you may have topics here, which is great, but I always forget, oh shoot, did I grade this one or did I stop it? you know, this assignment. I need to go back and see, okay, oh, I haven't graded that one. What about this one? Did I grade? Okay, I graded that one, so now I know I need to. So it gets really confusing to figure out which ones have you graded and which ones have you not, which um, is really fixed when you use this thing called the to-do list. Most people just skip over this, but it's hugely helpful. Um, if you click on your to-do list, what it does is it compiles all of the assignments from all of your periods. Notice I have period one, three, four, six, five. It has all of those assignments grouped together on one list, not separated by topic. So I can clearly see, okay, this is my list of what I need to grade. Yes, I have a lot to grade, I understand. When I am done grading something, say I go through and I grade all these assignments, it'll say zero turned in zero assigned and it would say in this case 33 graded. What I can do is I can click this little three dots here and mark it as reviewed. What it does then is it takes it off my to-do list. Now I made a mistake and I need to go back so I'm going to go to my reviewed list if you see that up here at the top and I can go get that assignment back. I can either grade it straight from here or I can click these and I can move it back to my to-do list so that I know what to do. This also allows me, once I've graded assignments, to come back and see who has been turning in work late. In my fourth period, I have one person that has turned in this assignment late, two people in my third period. So these are all the assignments that I've had when they were due, but I've already put these ones into my gradebook, so I don't want them clogging up my classes. So this is an easy way for you to manage your uh, work, what you need to grade. One thing that students don't realize is they also have a to-do list. And when they utilize this to-do list, what pops up on their list is all of their work from all their different classes. So if they are on Google Classroom for, say, history, science, math, and English, it will compile all of their assignments for all of their classes here. The only other way they can see their assignments is by going individually into each class and looking at them. Well, if you like to see an overview of, okay, I have these three assignments that I have to do by tomorrow, they can utilize their to-do list feature to do the same thing. So, hope that's helpful.